<laughs> All right, you guys. So um, welcome back to the Free Skate. This is indirect to the ISU and the judging and the sport that I feel is truly going down. And we'll get into why this is happening. Um, Ryan, of course, is going to let me, you know, do this and shoot off this little video because, you know, I'm going to be talking. So and we got to be real here. Um, OK, so we just got done the men's field and. Here is the issues that I'm noticing. The ISU, you guys need to start learning. There's a difference of a program. There's a difference of a technical. The problem here in this sport is it's hurting the credibility of these stars, the figure skaters, and the judging as a whole. It's starting to not be exciting anymore because you're going into it being... Because you can see what's happening here. It's if you make an, a massive technical, say you, you know, you do a Chen or even a Hanu, a 95, whatever, something big, a very big technical score in the short or the long, you are automatically getting a huge PCS. That is truly just unbelievable. It, it annoys me. It makes me angry. So here's the thing. You watch after the free skate of Hanu done and Hanu is just out of breath. His, his, you know, his program is so full of so much. And listen, you know, his technical took a hit and it should have. He was out of breath. Unfortunately, you know, he, he puts a lot into his program, which makes him a lot more tired, right? And that's kind of his risk. You know, he wants both. He wants his technical and he wants his, his artistry. He wants them both to be spectacular. Unfortunately, as human, uh, as human nature, we are a lot less, we're, you know, we're tired more so. So the point here is you see Han who's struggling. He's out of breath. He's kissing the ice. He's His head's on the ice. He's just, you know, you could see him going into that, that triple axle. The last one, he looked gassed and you were just like, oh, and you know, he did the one axle. So unfortunately, just he just ran right out of, you know, um, air, basically. And the thing is here is, yes, now he deserves to get hit. And you kind of, and I was like, oh, he, he's probably going to get a little less in his tackle, which he did. He ended up getting 100 instead of the 103 it was at by the end of his performance there. And his PCS, he did look a tad slower, especially near the end. And he deserved to get that 93. It, it kind of dipped. And you know what? It looked like that, you know, but still him, his, his worst performance is usually better than anyone's, right? So... I mean, that's okay. And that was, I thought, fairly, fairly actually honest. Now, Chen goes up. And again, I said to Ryan, watch Chen's performance. is going to just do a lot of skating around the ice. Twists and turns. You know, the little hand gestures here and there. And, and so forth. But it's, and he'll hit his technical so greatly, which he always does. And listen, that's okay. If you have a, um... You know, uh, what do you want to say? Um, if you feel that, you know what, you're going to do not as much into your artistry because you want to hit that technical, that may be worth that much more. And it is, of course, right now. The technical is worth so much. That's okay. And you know what you say? You know what? I'm going to be less about the artistry. I'm going to put in here and there. But I'm going to focus on my technical, which he has. And he hits his technical beautifully perfect there's nothing wrong with that nathan you are unbelievable at your technical you really are and nobody can dispute that nobody but how can you give him a 95 pcs when he's done it do you see him when he's done and he's not out of breath he's not a, because like i said to ryan he doesn't do enough in that performance except for that step sequence where he does the rap but i think that's kind of a cool little touch i love that i love that part of it but it seriously it starts or ends there for his artistry. How can we be giving these huge PCSs because he gets a high technical? You have to different, differential both of them. Technical is one. PCS is one. You do not, just because you hit 129 technically, which is unbelievable and kudos to you. You cannot be just giving these PCS marks like, like, like they're just, well, a PCS I guess is just touched with the technical. Why are we why are we having PCS and technical? Just make it as one then. Because it's not working the way you're scoring right now. ISU, you guys are ruining the sport by doing this. You are not allowed like I'm sorry, Amos's uh PCS is completely night and day better than Chen's. And I'm sorry, but that is the fact and that is the truth. And I know for a fact as being an athlete and 
especially cardio is a huge thing for me. I know what it takes to be out of breath and what's how to reserve my energy. Nathan Chen skates the reserve energy to hit those technical, which makes him perfect. His GOEs are five in the snap. I said, Ryan, watch him wind up, wind up, and he winds up, and then he goes for his jump, which you know is going to happen. It's unfortunate that, unfortunately, it we're talking about Chen because you know what? Chen, this is not about you. You deserve that technical score. You deserve um, to win under these rules they are right now. But the ISU... Unfortunately, you guys as judges, you've been doing this forever. You are ruining so much right now for so many skaters, for all the fans out there. People pay their hard-earned dollars to see this. We cannot be giving high PCS just because you have a high technical. That's And that's been the rhythm and the follow of for years and years now. You can't continue doing this. You have to differential both. I can't say it any more clear than that. It's hurting the sport. It's hurting the rivalries. It's hurting the first, second, and third place things. You just know what's going to happen. I'm I'm appalled at it because it, it, you can't even put Chen in Hanu's or Jason Brown or Amos league of skating. It's it, I'm sorry. Chen to me in skating is very close to Boying. And I, that's... you. You go ahead, compare them. Show me it. Somebody go out there, and if you don't, if you think that I'm wrong, show me what what Chen is doing. That's so incredible. That's getting these high skating marks, because it's just skating around the ice and twists and turns and, and this stuff, and that that does not make somebody ooh and ah. And that's the difference of why people get into a Hanu, why people are surprised and excited for Amos because he's doing all this. I mean, look, I knew what Amos had in skating. I picked him third for a reason. Sorry, Ryan. Um, but it's so unfortunate that, that we are allowing these PCS marks to be so inflated when you hit a high technical. You need to have that PCS. You need to have that artistry. They are completely different. What makes a figure skater is not just jumping. If it was just jumping, we would be bored. We would, we, everyone would look the same. Everyone would have the same skating. It's boring if we're all just jumping. Now, what makes a great skater, what pulls you in to a figure skater? Is it not the whole combination, the whole package of when you do great artistry and you make a nice, beautiful quad jump or triple, whatever, um, that enhances that jump. That makes you go, wow, amazing. You know what I mean? You're inspired by it. But when we're just skating and it's we're doing a lap around the ice and we choose to just do a quad, that's not exciting. I've seen quads since 1998 with Stoiko. We've all seen a quad. It's not exciting if we're not putting something into the efforts of our program, the artistry. That makes it challenging to hit that quad jump. Or any quad or combination, whatever it is. You need the artistry to back it up. Doing one little step sequence throughout that four-minute thing is not good enough. That's not creating the energy and the buzz and the excitement in a performance. And unfortunately, the ISU, you guys are ruining the sport. And it's honestly making me not even care to watch anymore. Because I'm just sitting there going like, I know what's going to happen. How come I know what's going to happen before, it's, before it even you know ends or starts or finishes? Because it's unfortunate that we are seeing what they're doing to people with high technical. So, I don't know. S somehow, someway, they're going to have to change this whole situation of the PCS because it's getting ridiculous. And, and marks are getting inflated and numbers are getting outrageous for no reason. When, if you want that high PS PCS, then you need to back it up with artistry. And, and and program and skill and speed and edge work and crossovers and all of those beautiful spins and things like that you need and step sequence all of that has to be in a package not one not two not just technical like it's just it's incredible how frustrated I am because I can't be happy watching this and go well, that was fair. That was true. I honestly feel it was fair that they did hit Hanu properly because he should have been downgraded in certain areas. And as we know, he was getting 97s. 
for his PCS and he went to a 93 and you could see he was a little tired. So, you know, he was losing a little. And I love that. That's honest. That's true. Why, why are we not doing this for everyone? Why are we having trouble? Again, I haven't watched the ladies. Of course, it's not on yet. But I can imagine what Trusova will get when she hits, you know, four quads. Um, but when they fall, all of a sudden their PCS, right? You know, if they fall, their PCS just takes a big nosedive. And that's, it's separate. Yes, you, you can maybe mark, you know, here or there off just because, you know, it kind of flattens the performance for a, for a second. But listen, I would rather see somebody, a beautiful artistry program with jumping and say you screw up here and there, that's okay as long as that program is filled and it's oohs and ahs and it's, it checks all the boxes. I'm just going on a rant here, I know. I'm just, I'm so frustrated, you guys. It sucks that, like, I feel that, not that Chen doesn't deserve it, because, listen, let's not make this about Chen versus Hanu and, you know, Amos and all these names out there. Let's not make it about that. Let's look at it about the judging. The judges, you guys need to take this square on yourselves, and you guys need to fix the sport properly and judge properly and judge these skaters properly why can't we have like figure skating has been filled with so much you know um cheating and scandals can we not just let the sport be how it is and and mark it properly and judge it properly and give the true marks and let the figure skaters decide who wins not the judges let's let the figure skaters decide who wins and who loses and what places they are. I, I, I don't know what else to say, but I'm just... Um, congratulations to Nathan. I mean, he, I, your technical was unbelievable. It was really awe-inspiring, and he deserves those marks. Those technicals were amazing. And um, Hanu was really great, too. Unfortunately, you know, he he hurt himself in the in the short. And... That's the risk he takes, right? He wants to fill his program with artistry, but unfortunately now your stamina gets, you know, you got to be able to hit all that with the stamina and the cardio, all that behind you, all that off training. So um, it, it's, it makes it more difficult. And that's where GOEs and artistry needs to be fixed and, and showcase like, oh, there's a reason why Hanu's out of breath and dying. Just watch his program. It's filled with so much... And speed is a big thing too, right? Because he's still got so much speed most times. Not today too much. He kind of was slowing down. But um, most times he's got the speed throughout all that hard work he does on ice. So, I mean, listen, I'm a Canadian. I'm not Japanese. I'm not American. I'm not Russian. Um, I'm speaking of unbiased and honesty, what we want in the sport to further it. And and to create excitement for the fans. Like, how exciting would it be to watch the figure skaters for once um, battle it instead of knowing what the judges are going to give? Because soon as I soon as I said to, I said to Ryan, soon as I see if he gets, like, if he hits all his jumps perfect, blah, blah, you watch, he's going to get a 95. And sure enough, God is my witness, 95 he gets. And I'm just like, see? That's not true. That's not okay. The judging needs to be fixed on a PCS, and I'm sorry, but that's the facts. Hopefully, we are going to hear something about this by the end of the year, because clearly they're not going to fix it this year. But something needs to be fixed and perfectly um, changed in this PCS marks compared to the technical. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for quickly listening. I really wanted to shoot this off. It's not going to be edited. This is raw. It's real. This is my true emotions. Yes, I am upset. Yes, I have so much um, pride behind it because this is what I feel like because I know what it's like to be an athlete and I want to be the one to judge where I should be, not where the judges decide to place us. You know what I mean? You need to be able to go out there and put all your hard work in there and you got to know like, this is what I need. This is what I got to do. Unfortunately, all you got to do is hit high technicals in women's or in um, the men's. And you know what? Your PCS is going to be way up there. And that's not okay. That's not right. It's not the same freaking um, marks. It's not the same um, components. So let's get that figured out, ISU. You guys need to take it on the chin and realize that you are faulting this. You guys are screwing this and you're getting all the backlash from the people because we can see right through 